Check, 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 test, one, two. You probably can't see it here, but I am surrounded by damselflies, but that's not what I'm here for today. Today, I am here for dragonflies. I think you can see that on the screen right there. All you're getting is a reflection. Check, 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 test, one, two. Johnny Pink! So as I was saying, um, I've been shooting dragonflies, not damselflies, but dragonflies. This is my Canon EF version 3 70 to 200 that I got specifically for dragonflies. It is amazing. Uh, this morning I was out shooting my Canon 600 millimeter f4 with a 1.4 tally on it, so I was shooting at 840 millimeters. I think I was shooting at 6.1, but I was able to shoot dragonflies in flight. The trick to shooting dragonflies in flight is they always seem to have a pattern for the most part, not always, but I find them, I focus about, this is an old technique, you focus, you know, pre-focus. And then when they come into view there, I hit the eye autofocus. It works much better on the R5, but it works really well on the R7 as well. Regional jet, so it's going to be hard to hear me over that. But let me show you a couple of the treasures. I, I have been waiting since last summer for dragonfly season, or what I call dragonfly season. It's really hot. It is probably about two in the afternoon. It's almost 100 degrees out here. That's Fahrenheit. It's hot. I have sweat running down my sweat. It is so hot out here, but that's for another time and another story. Let me show you some of the photos that, uh, that I've taken so far.
So as I've been saying, if you are shooting, you can shoot. Wow, in here I'm getting this weird echo all the way around because I'm in this little concrete circle. You can shoot dragonflies. It's really easy to shoot them when they're sitting still, right? They're, they're easy to find. You get some great shots. One other thing I have noticed because I've been shooting with both my 70 to 200, my 600 F4, and my very old EF 100 to 400, that's version one. And in shooting all three of these lenses, this one and of course my my 600 millimeter have been the best but that's what happens when you pay for this expensive glass the rf um, excuse me the 100 to 400 it's good but it does not hold up to the l lenses or at least the later version i have not tried the version 2 nor have i tried the rf version for um, the dragonflies i should at some point that's my tip, man. If you're shooting dragonflies in flight, pre-focus to where you think they might be because they do have a pattern, and just wait. The other thing I do is I set my, my focus. Single point is typically my favorite. But what I will do is I will set it to a wider pattern. With Canon, it's the big box and one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Um, and that's, that's the one I use. It's like the third one over. I use that a lot for dragonflies in flight to kind of get that in that right position. But once I hit I autofocus, it just locks onto them like nobody's business and holds on until they fly away. Canon's autofocus really is that good. And just for fun, I do plan on renting, whenever it's in stock, Sony's A6700 as a crop sensor because I want to compare it to this. On paper, the specs on this are way better, but that has that new AI tracking sensor that I would like to try. So that's a story for another time. Johnny Pink, please give it a thumbs up if you thought it was kind of interesting, if you thought it was kind of cool. I would appreciate it. I ask for nothing more than just a thumbs up because that does help the algorithm on the channel. I want to thank you guys for just for letting me share with you. I enjoy sharing. To me, that's the highlight of everything that I do is being able to share. That's it, man. You guys have a fantastic day, whatever it is you're gonna do. Johnny Pink. <laughs> you know what? I'll see you guys. No way, man. If you really thought that I was gonna walk away and leave all my stuff here, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I just like this little tractor thing. It's a lot of fun. And it is handling my 90D perfectly. We'll see you guys. Johnny Pink, thanks man. Let's see what it does this way. It worked.